What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Lo. Keith. I'm Jarek. And I'm Curtis. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all seen the thumbnail. This is a Patreon request from Elizabeth McElvin. Um, McElvin. McElvin. <laughs> <laughs> She's Irish. I don't know. I had a deep conversation, and I uh, I didn't ask where, where she was from. Obviously, that too, you didn't get into her hair. Shout out to her. She literally could be from, like, Jersey or something. She could still be Irish. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll be reacting to Holland, I'm So Afraid. Um, a little bit of uh, info on the song. She told me that he was the first gay, like, openly gay idol, um, which is which is interesting just because, obviously, it's, everyone wants representation for themselves and music that they listen to. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I know how the career standards are and stuff like that, so I didn't know how many people were openly gay as far as people who make idol music, um, K-hip-hop and everything else, I know may have been something else. And I think that- I don't, I'm, with idol music, I didn't think that would be far-fetched. I'm actually like surprised that was like, he's the first. It, how old is this video with him being the first openly gay one? I'm pretty sure, I, I would assume this is like pretty new. I didn't, I, I'm, I agree with you, but I also, wouldn't be taken back if this is something that happened like last year or two years yeah. ago. Because it's very something. easy to get blackballed in the music right. industry. From well, I feel like now it's more of a push, I, I and I'll lead that. But I'm saying, like, what's a push here? The, how how liberal they are with and like able to dress and do all that shit like that. I would assume because like what what else is that expression? You know what I'm saying? Not saying like if I know you exactly wear, what yeah. you mean. Like, you just saying so if you if you feel like the. Y'all don't have a problem with masculinity issues and comfortability yeah. doing particular things, then it shouldn't be an issue for you to do anything else that, outside of that scope. That's literally But it. sometimes people want, may want you to have freedoms to an extent that they allow, if that makes sense. <laughs> they might want you to feel like you're free to do everything but ABC, mm -hmm. but you can do X, Y, Z. Um, but at least with our channel, we're open and acceptance to everybody, and I just want to dive into it to kind of see what I'm going to get from Holland. And she told me also he named himself Holland because that was the first country to do openly gay marriage and stuff. Oh, wow. Um, and his parents didn't know that he came out until they listened to his tracks. Oh, wow. It was crazy. Um, but we can jump right drop us Drop more information in the comments because I like learning from well, you guys. I'll backtrack on that. Not saying it's fucked I up. I like it's learning. I'm, no, like that's I'm, a lot I'm, to take in. Yeah, from the, it, from the parents. Imagine thing. like obviously social norms over there is different. So I'm gonna imagine. I'm thinking one parents may have like, yo, what the fuck? Like, yeah, something like you could have told us this, but you know maybe he felt like he had to get it out. That's what I'm getting. He to, probably yeah. felt like he had to get that's, it out on the track. I, I take that back because you never know how he felt. Yeah, but thanks Elizabeth again. We can jump right into it. Subtle dolly zoom. Yeah. Color palette is already. This video crazy. Like strobe lights gotta be in here somewhere like
regular locations be fire to hear this shit over here. This shit beautiful. Use of light on in this video is amazing. I want to go to SK. That was let's give him Sia, uh, right? Chandelier, one of them kind of like videos. I got some That shit was beautiful. Yeah, cause the video, I definitely thought it was about to go somewhere else, especially when everything opened up. I was like, so is his world opening up? The music else? too, but I say yeah, y'all can y'all can dive. My main thought like. is that's how he sees himself. Mm-hmm. Like you see, like the window jaw open up and everything like that, and obviously they dress the exact same way. way. Um, that's what he sees, how he sees himself. Cause it really, I feel like I didn't see no lyrics. Like after it goes into Shorty. It, you don't hear any like or I didn't really hear anything like maybe like a little faint little definitely just the EDM drop and yeah. the I'm so afraid mm-hmm. and with that I expected more of it but obviously if this is his the title of it being I'm so afraid it's probably not a party song regardless of how the instrumentation like, depending sounds. on where you at it might be well no I'm saying like you know, he's I'm not partying man. on it but that's just his that's just the music back musical backdrop he chose but that's what I got mm-hmm. from the video since it really wasn't no more lyrics to kind of give everything or whatever like that that that's how he saw himself like as as a girl or whatever like just that. to let you guys know um this was a fresh reaction for all of us i don't think any of us have ever heard yeah. holland before yeah. so if by any chance you are a holland fan or you are holland um <laughs> <laughs> i just not nah, like for real though we do like or to apologize if we by any chance misgender because i know um I'm not sure if they go if they're big on pronouns and stuff like that, but oh, this was our first time reacting to this. Um, and well, it said that he's that he was openly gay. It didn't say that he was trans or anything. Yeah, else. I don't think or so. non-binary yeah, or non-binary or anything like that. At least to my knowledge that, that I was told. Look at y'all. But I do uh, education. But I do appreciate. No, yeah, because you because you never know. Because what I got from it is kind of like he wanted to open up and and he was he afraid from yeah. being who right. he truly is and. Um, which was dope. I love the way that they showed that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was all alone, kind of in the woods, not really looking like he felt comfortable until that, like, space kind of... opened up. Yeah, that space opened up for exactly. him to kind of roam around and be himself. Like, all of that was beautifully... He can only be himself while everyone's going, while no one's out. While yeah, and I himself. think this is one of the few videos where, like, the dancing did a lot of like the talking you know what i'm saying well at least for me there wasn't too much Mm -hmm. lyrics but you could it felt like it was almost pretty much a silent film yeah Yeah. you could kind of see and feel what's going on that's you get and that's what i'm saying because i'm not gonna act like i really well kind of like deep dive within myself to understand this like it's kind of like cut and dry what's Mm -hmm. going on here that's how he sees himself or what he wishes to be or whatever like that but more so like you said you notice no one else is in the video like where she is so that's the only time he could be in sub when no one else is around. Yeah. But it's not just that, too. It's also the dancing. Like, he's dancing completely free. Yeah. Like very, very. He does not care. Yeah. There's what, no like, it, it, choreographed. No, right. It's not choreographed. He's not worried about how he's being viewed. Uh, at one point, he licks glass. And the second yeah. other point, he does, like, a downward-facing dog with the actual dog face. Yeah. Um, it's just, like, there is no restraints to what he's doing. Um, it's, it's very The whimsical. tutting is dope. 
I do like the tutting in the beginning. I thought that was very nice. Um, but like it's it's a, it's one big freestyle, and I think freestyle is the epitome of what he is trying to get across here. Um, again, I completely agree. This is how there it goes. This is how he views himself. Um, and the waking up in the the woods is kind of a metaphor in itself as well. Um, especially with like I think it was a Twister game, a Budweiser, and a King of Hearts card. Take that what you want. But um, look like hookah was out there too. Right. It, it, like yeah, I think a crystal ball. Like a it, it, it was crazy. But um, and then at the end, it definitely goes back from her dancing free to him doing the same pose uh like you know he's finally back to the real world now and yeah. now he's gotta deal with the bullshit it was the dancing was very whimsical and twee so that's 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 i feel like i'm not gonna say most gay people i'm not gonna act like i'm the gay aficionado or some shit like that but i assume that's with the notion of being Having to, with, a, with those who don't feel comfortable coming out or whatever like that, it's like I wish I could just be like whimsical and twee and just flutter around. Dance like, like nobody's yeah, watching. Well, even if you didn't want to speak from that standpoint where you, you, you black, you know what it's like for, in segregation and everything else to, you know. I think those are two different things, though. Well, they are two different things, but I'm saying like you would. I get what you, you mean you know to what be I mean? ostracized and so marginalized. Ex yes. Exactly. Yeah, so it's. Yeah. it's you, we would have a clear understanding better than some other people of what it would feel like for you to feel like you have to hide or not be yourself around particular people and everything well, the else. The problem, and I think that's kind of what even like a two different things. The problem is we can't hide. Yeah, like, we, 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 we yeah. are who we are. I think, and, yeah, I think this no is more of a, a freedom of, yeah, that's But that's, that's a whole other subject, yeah, a yeah, whole other yeah, story, yeah. and that's a deep dive in itself. What's up, Kurt? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Oh yeah! Before I forget too, uh, I'm a sucker for uh, just contemporary dancing and like a beat being on and everything, and that's why the whole sea vibe that I said I was getting from this definitely was giving like chandelier or kind of like all those. So do you dance like this at home when no one's watching? He definitely no, he definitely I would if does. I knew movements. Just Nick, Nick definitely <laughs> danced like this. Nah, he be putting on home putting on chandelier. <laughs> he said so, 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 you hear that shit? Someone time marked that. Oh my god! <laughs> someone time marked it too. Uh, I dance like that to chandelier. Yeah, <laughs> I dance like that to chandelier. I mean, my daughter danced like I'm that. I'm gonna be real. You know what? I'll be I'll be I'll be kind of in my bag when Latch come on, bro. Oh, you, you love Latch? That's good. <laughs> I told you my guilty pleasure is Kylie Minogue. Can't get you out of my head. No, Latch is dope. Party Next Door sampled the fuck out of that song and made it a, a, a masterpiece. What was the other joint? Elastic Heart that Sia had was dope, too? I didn't even peep the well, cop sirens and everything going on in the back. My fault. We yeah, just well, the ground, the ground, Kurt. The ground nah, below is, right, is active, right. but she's elevated. This is a really nice beat. Like, I would like to, like, just, like, because there's not too many lyrics or anything like that. Um, I would like to, like, just listen to this. Just like I would add it to my playlist just because... It's a cool like it's a vibe. vibe. It's a vibe. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, vibe. like you could like drink, smoke. It's like a Travis Scott joint. We was just like some songs. Almost you can just play the beat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that nigga just, just kind yeah, of just of you didn't even need to be on the. He can hum or just no. Nah, <laughs> it's lit. Yeah, I'm like yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Stop talking. Stop I love you, Travis Scott. <laughs> All right. Um, firstly, I love the way it starts on an like almost like an extreme close up, and. It starts off with a dolly zoom too, so you get the character that uh, is being portrayed. I mean, obviously because it's a it's a big open issue, so it's meant to be something that people can probably like see themselves in or latch onto or identify with. But um, it starts with that dolly zoom where basically you're on the ground, you're staying the same size, but that world around you is like shrinking. And I think Fincher is like a god at that. Like he's like, oh my yeah. I mean, the way he utilizes that is like David Fincher. David Fincher. David Fincher. Um, but that was where I was going with that. Now, and then it starts with that mirror, and it almost felt like I don't want to say fairy tale esque, but um, Alice through like, the looking glass, like almost Shakespearean, or like, like if you know like ancient, you know, like like literature, it would be, you know. Uh, the hero's journey, I guess, so to speak. You know, the journey through, like, the new world, Alice in Wonderland, that's why I said fairy tale, like, that kind of thing. So you literally see a mirror dimension, almost, of, like, if I could be this, or this is who I see myself as. And as you uh, said, Lo, 
that whole grand city completely empty. Mm -hmm. So it's like who you want to be, what you want to be around, how you fit in, but you still feel by yourself, you still feel alone. And even the, as far as the dancing or the choreography, if you want to call it that, like just the, the way it felt very almost ballet-esque, I want to say. I could be wrong if that isn't like the exact form of dance around, but it felt mm -hmm. like just that artistic, like just free expression. It's contemporary yeah, that's why I dance. Said contemporary because I don't know. Yeah, what it's, what it was yeah, I didn't want to. It's say it's it really a mix, like but of just everything. Because in the beginning, really like she does too, a lot of tutting too. When you look at the the way they bookend it, it starts with that extreme close up on the ground, alone, and it ends on a wide shot in the forest of them standing up. So it's like whatever this inner journey is. This right here is hot. Like that they're vertigo. more open mm -hmm. afterwards. Like mm -hmm. it was a, a cathartic, you know, whether it's in the mind or um, even like all the things that were around, like the, the little picnic thing. Yeah, I think this video had a lot of like film techniques that yeah, they so utilized to tell a story. It was oh, definitely, and I'm, I'm curious just how that works from like, if you're Holland and you're saying, I have this message, I want to portray it, I don't know how you seek out that director that's going to bring to life, like, all these feelings that you have that may not necessarily even have words to them or maybe better served without words. But, um, no, over, overall, it was just, um, like, you could tell there was a lot of pain, you know, that had to be put on display, and that's really brave in and of itself. I mean, the song's called I'm So Afraid, mm -hmm. and, you know, at the end, they're still in that forest if you want to take it like that. You know, they don't stay in the city or, I, like, they still come back to that who they were before mm -hmm. it started. So it just almost feels like it's like, this is who I want to be, but this is, like, nah, still I where I'm at right it now. It seemed like it was the beginning and the end still took place in the same spot. So yeah, now there was more space open. It was in a wide shot around the forest, more life, that kind of thing. It really just so, strike me as a dream, like, or, yeah. a, you know, his thoughts, a window. Yeah. You know? And whatever he wanted to say, he was I mean, still even, uncomfortable to say it as himself. Even literature. And he needed somebody like, else to say it. Literary devices or literary elements, like a forest in general, is always symbolic of, like, some kind of inner journey to begin with. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like Midsummer Night's Dream or something, you get stuck in the forest, you meet mm -hmm. the... And they're still stuck in that forest, but there's still, like, a liveliness around it. Like, it doesn't feel like it's, like, dead or, you know, winter, cold, that kind of thing, night. Like, it, it ended on a positive, almost, like, like a bittersweet moment, I would say. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot to read into in that. I'm curious, you know, what else they got going forward. Shaking it off. Yeah, anybody else got anything they want to add? Now I got you <laughs> in my space. That's going to be in my head the whole I night, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Elizabeth, thank you again for requesting this. Um, definitely want to dive into Holland a little bit more and just see what else definitely, he has to offer. Yeah. Um, just because um, this is definitely kind of one of those songs where you kind of want a little bit more or you would want to see, see the what the catalog is. Yeah, what, what, what his catalog is like. Because I don't, this is a great message, but I would leave this just on the type time like it was a dope EDM kind of beat. Yeah. Where you can play it in particular settings and you can vibe out. But I do want to see the personality for him a little bit more. Yeah. Um, with that being said, thank you again. Uh, Patreon members, we love you to death. Our YouTubers, we love you also. Uh, fill us with information, too, about Holland that maybe we didn't discuss or anything inside the comments. And, Lo, you can bring us out. Roll the tree, Millie. Roll to a dub. Song he song. <laughs> Got you in my space. And cut. I'm watching over you.